Hey guys, it is Mrs. Skrotsky here with the next chapter of Mummies in the Morning. We are up to chapter five. So if you remember, Jack and Annie went into the magic tree house and they went to ancient Egypt and they are now in a pyramid where they just saw a ghost. I'm gonna show you that picture again. And now we're up to chapter five, the ghost queen. A ghost, Annie whispered. But Jack could only stare in horror. The ghost began to speak. She sp spoke in a hollow, echoing voice. I am Hutepi, she said, queen of the Nile. Is it true that you have come to help me? Yes, said Annie. Jack still couldn't speak. For a thousand years, said the ghost queen, I have waited for help. Jack's heart was pounding so hard he thought he might, might faint. Someone must find my book of the dead, she said. I need it to go on to the next life. Why do you need the Book of the Dead? asked Annie. She didn't sound scared at all. It will tell me the magic spells I need to get through the underworld, said the ghost queen. The underworld, said Annie. Before I journey on to the next life, I must pass through the horrors of the underworld. What kinds of horrors? Annie asked. Poisonous snakes, said the ghost queen. Lakes of fire, monsters, demons. Oh, Annie stepped closer to Jack. My brother hid the Book of the Dead, so tomb robbers would not steal it, said the ghost queen. Then he carved this secret message on the wall, telling me how to find it. She pointed to the wall. Jack was still in shock. He couldn't move. Where, asked Annie. Here? She squinted at the wall. What do those tiny pictures mean? The ghost queen smiled sadly. Alas, my brother forgot my strange problem. I cannot see clearly that which is close to my eyes. I have not been able to read his message for a thousand years. Oh, that's not a problem, a strange problem, said Annie. Jack can't see anything either. That's why he wears glasses. The ghost queen stared in wonder at Jack. Jack, lend her your glasses, said Annie. Jack took his glasses off his nose. He held them out to the ghost queen. There they are looking at the pictures. She backed away from him. I fear I cannot wear your glasses, Jack, she said. I am made of air. Oh, I forgot, said Annie. But perhaps you will describe the hieroglyphics on these walls, said the ghost queen. Hiero, who, said Annie. Hieroglyphics, said Jack, finally finding his voice. It's the ancient Egyptian way of writing. It's like writing with pictures. The ghost queen smiled at him. Thank you, Jack, she said. Jack smiled back at her. He put his glasses on. Then he stepped toward the wall and took a good long look. Oh man, he whispered. And that is the end of chapter five. So Jack and, or I guess the ghost queen wanted to get help reading the wall, but she couldn't see the pictures. So Jack and Annie are trying to help her. Pretty good chapter. I don't know if I would uh, talk to a ghost if I saw one. I think I would probably try to move the other way. But anyway, tomorrow we'll read chapter six, the writing on the wall. Have a great rest of your night. See you guys tomorrow.